In this beginner tutorial, I'm going to quickly explain how to name and color things in FL Studio, and why you should always do so. If you're watching this video, then you're probably a beginner. The way to do this is the same in the channel rack, mixer, and playlist. You simply right-click and then select Rename, Color, and Icon. You can also press F2 to achieve the same thing more quickly. Right-click here, Rename, Color, and Icon. It's really quite self-explanatory, so a video like this shouldn't really be needed. However, I also wanted to take the opportunity to explain a little bit about why you should do this. I recommend that you always name and color things so that your project stays organized. This will make it much easier as the project grows in size. Oftentimes, you'll end up throwing things in, creating automation and stuff, and eventually, it's all just a big mess. Here's one of my own projects. As you can see, I always color my percussion elements green. My basses are always yellow, leads and vocals are always blue, and so on. This makes it much easier if you open an old project, for example, because everything is always the same color. It's important to develop good habits early on, so try to always spend some time naming and coloring things. You can also link the channel rack, mixer, and playlist together in such a way that you only have to name and color once for each element. Check out my link in the description below to see my tutorial about audio and instrument tracks if you want to know how to do that. I'd like to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support, and as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.